this video is about this person, or rather, non-person. That's because this person does not exist. You're looking at an image created by an artificial intelligence network that's been trained to draw realistic human faces. In this video, we'll talk about where these images come from, where we've run into them in the past, and what you can do to tell the difference between a real person and a fake. You've probably heard the word deepfake before. It's used to describe AI technology that can swap people's faces in videos. The name comes from a Reddit user who popularized these kinds of videos in 2017. Initially, deepfake technology saw lots of use in the creation of memes and pornographic videos. It wasn't long before others realized that the technology had applications outside of these niches. You might have seen this video in 2018, which appears to show President Obama talking about the dangerous implications of deepfake technology. Unless you were watching carefully, you might have thought that the video actually showed President Obama speaking. That is, until he said this. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. At the end of the video, comedian Jordan Peele reveals himself to be the voice of President Obama whose mouth movements were matched to the dialogue using deepfake technology. Deepfake technology is available to anyone with an internet connection and a bit of computer programming knowledge. YouTube user Control Shift Face has a whole series of videos in which the faces of celebrities are swapped for those of other celebrities. In this video, you can see comedian Bill Hader's face seamlessly changing to that of actor Arnold Schwarzenegger. When combined with Hader's impersonation of Schwarzenegger's voice, the transformation is uncanny. Find them, show me your leadership capabilities. <laughs> More broadly, the term deepfake can be used to describe any AI-generated image of a human face. This brings us back to our friend from the beginning of the video. Where did she come from? And how can we be sure that she's not a real person? Her image was pulled from thispersondoesnotexist.com, a website that displays images created by something called a Generative Adversarial Network, or GAN for short. The network is trained to draw realistic human faces, and you can cycle through an endless supply of them by just visiting the website and hitting refresh on your browser. We've seen pictures from thispersondoesnotexist.com pop up online before. For example, notorious fraudster Jacob Wool, seen here on the right in this footage from NBC, was implicated in a scam that involved an AI-generated image. Back in 2020, Wool claimed to be in contact with a person who had damaging information about newscaster Joe Scarborough. That quote-unquote person had a Twitter account with a profile photo. As her colleague Eric pointed out in a Twitter thread, that picture exhibited several red flags that indicated that it had been generated by this person does not exist.com, meaning that the picture wasn't of a real person. As it turns out, while realistic, these kinds of images are not perfect. They tend to have flaws that, once you spot them, give away their source. Let's take a look at some of these recurring flaws now. If you look through enough of these images, you'll notice strange artifacts that have no explanation. For example, you might notice that the background of an image is a garbled mess of colors and shapes, as in this example. Or in this one, where it's not at all clear where this woman is supposed to be standing, or what the shapes behind her represent. The AI has a particularly tough time rendering accessories like hats, as you can see in this image. Earrings also tend to look off. You might notice that they melt into the person's ears, like in this example. Or, as you can see in this picture, earrings will sometimes morph into psychedelic shapes. If you look closely into the eyes of one of these non-people, you might notice an oddly shaped pupil. That's the case in the image of this man. Or, as you can see in the picture of this child, who has a pupil that is anything but circular. And if you take a close look at this woman's pupil, 
you'll notice that it's shaped like a hexagon. Another recurring flaw has to do with the proportion of the faces in these images. In particular, the alignment of the eyes tends to be the same across all of the pictures generated by this website. Notice the position of the eyes along this grid in this sequence of 50 images pulled from the website. It's not pixel perfect, but the alignment of the eyes as seen here can be a good indication that the image that you're looking at comes from thispersondoesnotexist.com. Ben Strick highlighted this eye alignment flaw in a recent article in which he unveiled an influence network on Twitter that used inauthentic accounts with profile pictures generated by the website. While we haven't really come across any deepfake videos in our work, it's probably only a matter of time before the technology is widespread and user-friendly enough to be put to use by even the least sophisticated actors. What's more, the images generated by thispersondoesnotexist.com have improved significantly over time, as designed, because the AI network that creates them is constantly improving itself. The New York Times published an article highlighting how far this technology has come, painting a frightening picture of what could be in store for us in a world of flawless fake people. It might not be long before deepfake technology and AI-generated faces are so realistic that telling the difference between a fake person and a real one won't be a simple task at all. <laughs>